So after I made my original post uh, explaining how to do the arrival zone here at our minecart station, I had a couple suggestions from two redditors on a ways to sort of improve things and to, to make it a little more reliable. So uh, to kind of explain what the the issue is here, um, actually, when we first arrive at the station, uh, since the cart's traveling down the track, uh, there's an instant where it's pressing just the wooden plate and not the stone plate. And with the circuit I, I elected to use here, uh, the XNOR, um, that's going to activate our torch when one of the buttons is pressed and not the other. So for that brief instant when we're coming in the station, the wooden one will be pressed and not the stone one. Uh, so that will actually activate our circuit for, for just a, a moment. And if this booster card is in just the right place on its track, uh, it can actually uh, be sent out even though we are still sitting in the cart. So uh, a way to improve this, uh, there are a couple ways we can improve this actually. Uh, the first one is, is pretty simple, uh, and that's to swap uh, the order of the two plates, and that may seem kind of arbitrary right now, but when we redo our redstone circuit down there, it will, will be much more important. So, um, we're going to be replacing the XNOR that I used with an implies gate, uh, which I will show you a diagram in just a moment, uh, but for now I'm just going to destroy our XNOR here. So I'll try to uh, explain this in such a way that you know you can kind of get a grasp of exactly what's going on, but hopefully um, I won't confuse either uh, the viewer or myself uh, while explaining this. But uh, to show you a diagram of what we're going to be building, uh, it's this uh, right here. Uh, as I said, it's the implies gate, and. Uh, we're going to be building the uh, A diagram right here. So with an implies gate we have two uh, different inputs. We have the A input and the B input. And in our example A is going to correspond to our wooden pressure plate and B will correspond to the, uh, the stone pressure plate. So for our purposes uh, when neither pressure plate is, is pressed uh, the default state will be uh, on which when we have a, a redstone torch that's uh, receiving power like this. So our default state is on, our redstone wire will be lit up, but the torch itself that controls the, the track piece uh, that the, the minecart is, is switching uh, will be off. So when the implies gate is active, our torch will be inactive. So that's uh, kind of something to keep in mind here. So um, our default state when neither button is pressed uh, will be the, the redstone wire is active but the torch itself will be off. Uh, and then when both of them are pressed uh, again kind of the same situation uh, the redstone torch will still be off. Um, and then importantly when the B input uh, which is going to correspond uh, again to our stone pressure plate. When the B input is active, uh, then the final result will still be an inactive torch. However, there is one special case uh, that will cause our, our torch to switch states from inactive to active, and that is when only the A input, uh, in our case the wooden pressure plate, but not the B input, the stone pressure plate, uh, so just the wooden pressure plate is being pressed, not both of them, and not just the stone one. Uh, that will cause our torch to actually activate and send out the booster. And uh, there's a, a nice little truth table that kind of explains uh, exactly what's going on there. Uh, to kind of prevent uh, any more confusion than I, than I already have, I'll just sort of leave it at that. And if you're not really interested in the logic, then if nothing else, you can just follow uh, along with me and, and build it uh, just like I do. So uh, now if you remember, we switched our two pressure plates. So now the stone one is on the right and the wooden one is on the left. So the left input is our wooden uh, pressure plate and that's going to correspond to the A input on the chart uh, once again. 
So from that input, we're going to place a cobblestone block or you know whatever block you want, and then stick a torch on the front of it. And then from our stone pressure plate, we're going to take that wire and wrap it around and connect it to the front of our torch right here. So you can see suddenly that's all lit up. Um, then we're going to branch off that same wire and just run that directly to the torch that will be under our track piece. So <laughs> as easy as that was, that is the completed gate. We don't need all that crap over there, so I can go ahead and, and fill this section in. And uh, it will work much better. So the only circumstance that will activate uh, our two pressure plates now is when the wooden one is pressed, but not the stone. Uh, so when we first come into the station, for that brief instant that we're just pressing the stone pressure plate, nothing's going to happen. So I'm standing on that now, and nothing's happening because uh, that doesn't meet the conditions of our logic gate. Um, and then when both of them are being pressed, again, uh, nothing's going to happen because they're both active. But only when the wooden pressure plate is pressed by itself without the stone pressure plate will we actually send out a booster cart. So let's see it in action here. I don't know what I'm doing. And so here we go. Now we're going to press the stone one first and then the wooden one and nothing's going to happen. But as soon as we hop out here it'll send out our booster card. So this is uh, generally going to be a much more reliable method. I'm, I'm glad they, they sent me those, uh, both so I can pass that on to you and just so I can uh, use that personally in my own stations. Um, but yeah, great uh, tip. Uh, and I'll, I'll definitely post those to uh, Reddit commenters in the, uh, in the comment section of, of this video so they can get full credit for their suggestions. But uh, I hope this helps out and uh, hopefully we'll improve everyone's arrival zones. So, thanks a lot. So, right as I was getting ready to post my video about the, the revisions to the arrival zone here, replacing the XNOR with an applies gate, uh, I saw one more comment on Reddit uh, about uh, a final way I could uh, improve things just a little bit. And to kind of illustrate the problem, um, when we step on this button to uh, retrieve a cart from the Pez dispenser, it, if we continue to stay on this button rather than getting off, it will continue to send carts pretty much uh, indefinitely. So um, there's a, a pretty quick fix uh, to that, and I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. This video's uh, getting a little longer than I really intended. but um, And we can use an applies gate just like what we learned uh, in the first revision. So to do that, uh, let's take a look at what we've got right now, just as a refresher. Uh, so we have right now uh, just a redstone wire running from the button uh, through a repeater right here, and then to our torch. And it just so happens the uh, torch, in this case, the default state is on. So um, we can kind of change things a little bit. And to make sure we're not continually sending out carts, uh, I'm actually just going to break this connection, and we'll uh, fill that back in later. But uh, so if we come under here, um, our uh, stone button is currently running out of that block right there. Uh, so what we can do is add one more additional button up here. So here's our stone button, and we'll add a wooden button next to the stone button in that gap we, we already had. So it looks pretty similar to this setup over here. And then uh, we can come in and hook up an applies gate to these two buttons now. So we won't be affecting the booster system that's already there. We'll just be uh, changing the stuff for the cart retrieval button. So um, I already know this is the block uh, that the uh, wooden button is hooked up to. So we'll run out the back of it just like we did before. So that's out the back of it. Let me throw a torch here. And then uh, we can come right down here and we can hook up an applies gate in place of this wire right here. So I just broke that wire that's going down to uh, our PEZ dispenser and instead we're going to come out the opposite side. Um, and then we'll set up an applies gate just like we did before. So from the uh, wooden button that's on the track, uh, we'll come loop around and plug it into the torch right here. And so in, in this case, um, 
we have from the button on the platform, we have the implies gate kind of hooked up to that. And then the wooden button on the track is hooking into the torch in the front. So uh, from here, I'm kind of running out of space since I didn't uh, originally plan for this extra uh, extra wiring when I was setting up the station. So I'm going to have to kind of make a trip underground here. But um, we can come down here and we'll probably need an inverter. So I'll go ahead and set one up real quickly. So even though it's around a corner, it'll still work. So. Um, that's, uh, I'm sorry, I think I set an inverter. This is a repeater right here. And then we'll run the wire uh, up here and connect it into our existing wire we had already laid. Now, if we look at this wire, it's active by default when nothing's being pressed. But if we come over here to our torch, the default state for this torch is on. So if we plug an active wire into an on torch, the torch will go out. So what we need to do is change this repeater to an inverter. So to do that, I just break off the uh, second block there and remove the torch from the top. And instead of having a torch on the top, I'll just place it on the front here. So now the active wire is coming into the block, turning off this torch, and the wire coming out of the torch is now by default off. So then I can plug up uh, our wire again. And uh, let's see, I need to reload a cart if we're going to test this properly. Okay, so now if I jump on the button right here, it will send one cart, but as soon as that cart gets here, it presses that uh, wooden button, and even though I'm still on this uh, original button on the platform, it is no longer activating uh, the uh, booster right there that sends out an additional cart. Uh, but you would to make sure this wiring is still set up correctly for our booster that sends the cart down the track, I can jump in it. And sure enough, off we go. And then when I come and press this button again, it will reactivate that booster and send us another cart. But importantly, will not continue to uh, send out carts. So uh, that's hopefully the, the last revision I'm going to do. People keep having great ideas, uh, and I'll keep making videos as long as they do. But um, until then, uh, I hope uh, this has kind of fixed uh, another problem, and uh, once again, I hope people find it useful. So, thanks for watching.